Hey everybody, this is Sean here with Rugged Outdoors, and today we're going to be talking about the disco bed bunk bed um, that's going to be used on our family campouts. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Sean here with Rugged Outdoors, and welcome back. And here on this channel, we talk about all things related to the great outdoors and how to help you and your family get out there and enjoy it. So one of the problems that we've had in the past is getting everybody to have a good night's sleep. Um, I've done a couple of videos. You can check them up here about different cots that I bought um, from Teton Sports and uh, pads and sleeping bags and all kinds of other items. And those are all fantastic. They've done a great job, particularly when we're tent camping um, in this Kodiak canvas tent that we purchased. And also got a, another video you can check out on that one. But the challenge has been is how do you have a decent sized tent? The problem has been still getting everybody inside the tent. It's a, I think this is a 10 by 10 um, tent and you can fit quite a few people in here. Um, but when you start adding cots, stuff, um, sleeping bags and all that, it gets a little crowded. Well, we're a family of five. And so we're trying to figure out how in the world we're going to get as many people in here to be able to sleep as possible. Well, the disco bed that we found, um, it comes in a bunk bed and we figured out, let's take a look at it. Well, before I get started, there, there are, um, I think there are four versions of this thing. Um, the very first one is a kid's one. Uh, so if you've got little kids, um, and I'll put uh, descriptions down below uh, the sizes and everything that they have and links to those um, so you can check them out they have a kids version uh, shorter doesn't fit for my family because everyone's um, a little bit older now so they don't necessarily fit a kids one they have a large which is the one I, I picked up and we'll talk about today um, they have an XL um, which is for even longer and they have a 2 XL which is even bigger than that well those last two aren't gonna fly in the tent with everything else that we're gonna bring along so um, we're going to be talking about the large one today. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you kind of how it works and how it's set up. Um, later then I'm going to take you and I'm going to show you how it comes in its packaging because we already set it up and everything. I like to figure it out before I do a video. And uh, we'll show you how it, it takes down. It even converts to a couch, um, which I thought was the craziest thing ever. Um, but overall, it's um, you know, the girls uh, came in and slept in it last night. My wife slept on it last night, even just to see what it was like. And she said, oh, super comfortable. And I'll show you some of the things that we do in addition to just the cot um, to help you get a good night's sleep. So um, let's get going. All right, here is the setup. You can see the bunk bed here, two of them together. Um, that bottom one has a Teton Sports uh, sleeping pad on it, which is fantastic, um, but it doesn't obviously come with it. So the bunk setup themselves, it measures out to about 6'5 and some change um, sleeping area. They're a little longer than that. You can see the extra space on either end of it. But overall sleeping area is about 6 foot 5. I think they have a weight ratio of about like 300 pounds or something like that. So I'm safe there. And setup wise was pretty straightforward. It didn't take too long to get it all set up. Comes with everything you see here plus a couple of bags. Um, that hold everything, which are actually organized really, really well. The other thing that's really impressive is this comes with the organizer. Now, I, I bought some other cots in the past, and we still use those, the Teton Sports cots, and they're fantastic, but they don't come with an organizer. I gotta pay for those extra. Um, so this was kind of nice that when I bought this bunk bed setup, it already had these um, organizers, and you can see here, if you don't want them, they just don't go off. And you're, and you're done um, but they go on really nice and they seem to hold up really well it has a cup holder you know for your your water two zipper pouches um, a little clip here which I the kids set up to use the remote for our light that we'll be reviewing a little bit later um, place for pens magazines whatever else you want and it includes two of them which is actually pretty slick and the other cool thing is it does it sets up as a couch so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna set up the camera and uh, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna take it apart and show you how to set it up as a couch. All right, so you can see here, I've converted the bunks into a bench now that you can sit on. Um, as it wasn't too hard to do, you just end up taking the discs out of this spot and putting them down there. And then the canvas folds over. You can see that on both sides. And it makes a pretty decent bench. Now I will admit, for us older folks, that's awful low to the ground, but 
and it works you know so you can have some more room during the day which is nice all right so now with it converted into a bench it's kind of nice it gives you a little bit more room you want to hang out and sit in the tent um, if it ends up being raining or whatever you can sit out on it hang out um, relatively comfortable I'll admit you're probably gonna want some pillows there's a bar right here across your back that's not exactly the most comfortable bar on the planet to have right there in your back but um, it, it does the job and so like I said it does turn into a nice bench if you end up to take a nap you can you can see here I'm 6'2 plenty of room on this bench um, to snooze if I want as well and then later on tonight turn it back into a bunk bed for the kids so you know overall I think this is actually a pretty nice setup for camping I think uh, especially if you're a family and you've got limited amount of space uh, to put folks in for us we figured out we can get about four people in here with cots you can fit five um, with all the cots and everything it just gets a little crowded with all the stuff you know taking stuff in and out of the truck or whatever but usually when we go camping one of our kids sleeps in a hammock um, outside uh, depending on how cold or whatever it is but um, the setup here with this disco bed I think is going to solve a lot of problems for us camping but packs up pretty nice in these two bags that I'll get ready to go show you as I got to take this apart because we're breaking down camp today um, so Hang on, let me go get those bags and we'll get it taken apart. All right, so here are the two bags that it comes in. And I'm going to start taking it apart and putting it in the bags. I was so impressed with how organized everything is with the way the poles sit in it, uh, the end clips, everything. It just goes nice and neat into these two bags. And as you can see here, the, the tent itself, the, the bunks will come apart. And I'll talk about those pieces as I get it apart. All right, so one of the safety features of this is they have this strap that actually straps the bottom to the top setup. So it comes apart pretty easy. They're just little uh, straps that you can then tighten up as you go. Um, the way you take them apart, and it's the same way you put it together really, is you have these two safety pins right here that hold this up, this on, because this is what connects it to the bottom bunk. You do the exact same thing to the other side. All right, so now I've got these pieces off. So the bunk itself got these nice little discs, hence the name Disco Bed. And it just pops right out, just like that. And on both sides. And here's the bottom bracket. What's nice is notice how these are rounded on the bottom. So it really does, it's not gonna dig into the bottom of a tent or dig into the dirt. Um, and keep and protect the bottom of your tent, which is really nice. So I'm gonna take apart these real quick, show you how that goes. Very first thing is they have a little thing you push there and the little wheel pops off. Does that on both sides. All right, so those wheels come off pretty easy. Um, then the rods themselves just come out here. And then the canvas just falls, comes right off. Pop that one out another uh, rod and here's the one in the middle and uh, you know these just slide together so pretty straightforward to put those in and then here's the, the little wheels that go in there and what's really cool about this and this setup is that all of this stuff fits right inside this bag you just put the rods Start up here. Right inside there and they fit just nice and dandy. Um, make sure I got all three of the right ones. Another one. Those just fit in there just like that. So I'm gonna go get the other brackets and I'll put those in here and you can see how that sets up. So that's just one side, you know, each one of them has a side you can put those on. It's like this. Oh, yep, got a nice Velcro strap. Get that side in. Okay, so got those set up. Now I'm gonna put the poles back in.
Okay, so I got that one side set up. The other thing they do when you're putting these together is it comes with a, a setup like this that you can put these in here because we're not gonna just use this for camping. You know, with five kids, or three kids, I don't have five kids. I, I couldn't have time to do videos if I had five kids. Those that do have five kids and do videos, thumbs up, you guys are amazing. Anyway, the cots can also be used up in our upstairs to allow the kids to have a place to sleep where they've got friends come over and it's got nice little uh, pat pieces on the bottom there. And those go on the, these area type deals. So I got two of those. I'll put that in here, it's just like this. All right, so what I'm gonna do, instead of you sitting here watching me put this thing all back together, I think you kind of get the idea. I'm gonna put it back together and then I'll show you um, how it looks when it's finished. All right, well, here's everything in here, all put together. Um, and except for the, the cot itself, the canvas piece itself, this just folds up. Legs run tight, you fold this over. that sucker up and there you are this is part one of the there's two of these now I can tell you just in uh, recap real quick uh, this is a great setup this is for truck camping this is not something you're gonna want to take uh, you're not gonna try to take this on a backpack <laughs> you're not gonna want to hike this anywhere because each one of these is pretty heavy I don't know exactly how much they weigh um, but they're uh, pretty heavy to do but overall you know I've been extremely happy with these I, th I think the, the first night using them everyone really enjoyed them I think it's gonna be a great addition to our camping setup. So um, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, hit that uh, like button, subscribe if you're so inclined, and we look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors.